Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Sam Hewen. And I'm Isa Gonzalez. <laughs> and we are going to play portrait mode. We are, I believe, 10 minutes we have to draw each other. Meanwhile, we will be answering questions. And uh, we are going to try to not suck at this. So here we go. I have to say, but by the way, I am at a total disadvantage. Azer is extremely talented. Uh, so I'm going to give her a head start. So off you go, Azer. <laughs> I'm going to uh, start first. Yes. Okay. Right, here we here go. go. What am I supposed to do? Look at her. I mean, she's. So <laughs> I hope ugly. you just at least can like not do a stick figure in there. Yeah. No. No peeking. Okay. Right, here, here we go. go. Oh God. Bloodshot. The, the movie for me it really appealed because obviously a great cast. Uh, Vin Diesel has created um, many action franchises. One of the most iconic action heroes. Uh, the characters were really awesome. They're, um, they're multifaceted, they're human. Keep driving. And, oh God, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and honestly, what a cast, you know, the, the great ensemble. I mean, apart from... <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa, shots fired. Just because I'm better at drawing at you, you don't have to take oh, it well, personal. Oh, we'll see who's better. I, I don't think I'm great. I'll just go ahead and say I'm slightly better than you. For me, my favorite part of my role was that it felt different to anything I had seen for female characters in, in action films. I felt like it felt very well-rounded. It wasn't just necessarily this badass type of character. She was also smart and emotional and had a depth to her and she didn't shy away from being emotional, which is something that I feel like it's always kind of like mutually exclusive in these roles for females. This is tricky to speak and it's like actually It's really do this. hard to multitask. It's really hard. I'm just discovering that I'm not good at it. I always thought I was. Aren't women which better I'm not. multitaskers? Yeah, and clearly I'm not one of them. <laughs> How about you, Sam? What about your favorite? Dalton really is, uh, he, he's an amazing character and very different to, to, to roles I've played before. Um, he, he's, I wouldn't say he's a bad guy, I think he's just uh, very angry, he's... Um, I'm just looking at your face. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really hard face to draw. And uh, yeah, he, he's, you know, he's uh, ex-Navy SEAL, a very, very good at uh, what he does, um, but he's had this terrible um, uh, trauma that he's suffered, and I think uh, he's he's angry. He's angry at the world for having lost his legs. I think he's angry at the military uh, and angry for being passed over. Um, he wants this technology. He thinks he's better than than Ray Garrison, and uh, <laughs> and suffering. he's certainly not good at drawing. <laughs> Did you read the comic prior, prior to, land? to landing the role? No, yeah. I actually started reading it when I got the the movie, and I was lucky enough to not be part of the comic books. My character is kind of created off the film, and so I feel like I've been in the other side of the of the coin where you have to audition for a role that already exists and the character already exists, and there's a lot of pressure in that, and and you want to you know do the character justice and the fans, and so it allowed me to be creative and really make my own version of what I thought KT could be. Good answer. Thanks, babe. Thanks for talking for a while. It gives me time to draw. Yeah, I really get better at your job right here. Here we go. I didn't know the series, and uh, but as soon as I heard more about it, I got um, several of the comics, and then it was really interesting to, to get a sense of, of this world, the world the Bloodshot's in. Um, and uh, it's amazing, actually. This, this movie really is a pretty accurate homage to, to those comics. I'm doing such a bad job. It's just I don't have, I usually do pastel so I can do like depth and... I have a lot of depth. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're at five minutes. It's just so. not very... No! Fun. Are we really? I'm going on. God. This is gonna... This is just because my... <laughs> because my, my thing is black, it just makes you look like a Mexican man. <laughs> no. So like if I do your beard and you're, you're just gonna look fully like... My dad. You're supposed to draw me, not your dad. You know that. <laughs> Did I feel any pressure um, playing this role? Obviously, this is a, a fan favorite. Um, but I think uh, actually, you know, these characters weren't in the comics, uh, or our characters weren't. So it was really fun to to actually create these these new characters, which I believe are now going to be in, <laughs> going to be in the Valiant series. Um, but there was definitely pressure with. Uh, 
with you know obviously bloodshot is a fan favorite so we, we had to get it right but i think you know with dave dave wilson at the helm uh we were so lucky he had such a strong vision of of uh of what he wanted to do fortunately he didn't ask us to do any painting or drawing. <laughs> thank god that was not part I of our job because would we would not, have not nailed it i would not have got the job working with vin diesel was incredible i mean he was always just up for a new challenge and that's what I thought was really incredible about Vin is when he started in the industry you know there wasn't a lot of opportunities for diverse actor and I feel like he always fell in that category and he kind of created his own opportunities the fact that he took a new dive into this uh, film is something that we were all very grateful and he had that attitude coming into the job and so we had a lot of fun we enjoyed being around each other we were all stuck in kind of a this uh, place in Cape Town and we all only had each other. I have a very cute story. I had an accident while I was in the movie and I was in the hospital and he came and brought me, I remember coming out of like the drugs and I was on the bed and he brought all the sushi and like every, I looked at the door and every nurse, every person in the hospital was there and I realized that Vin was in my room and had brought a, all the wow. sushi from the sushi place and put it in my bed and we sat down there and I was, Dave always makes fun of me because I was eating soup and he says that that's his fond memory of me. I'm like, <laughs> still coming up. He's like, what? And it would like drip on my mat and my mouth. And they're like, are you having, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. One minute left. No! Thank God, I can't take this anymore. I don't know how to fix this. So this makes no sense. If we could have one superpower, what would it be? I think mine would be to be a better artist. My <laughs> mom is actually an artist, so if she sees it, she's gonna just, she's gonna disown me. Um, I feel like mine will too. But I'm hoping that my skills don't lie here, but somewhere else. Superpower. My superpower would be to um, be able to teletransport um, or to regenerate. I think that's an incredible talent, like superpower. Mm. I would actually choose that. I am so sorry, Sam. I'm sorry you too. are so much more. Can we both say I'm really sorry? No! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pen down, pen down. <laughs> In three, two, one. How are we gonna, can we do it at the same time? Should we show it to them? Okay. Okay. All okay. right. In the middle. middle one, one, two, three. <laughs> 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 what is happening? You look like a Mexican. I'm a Mexican. <laughs> Your dream come true. Wait, what is happening here? I, is this a punch? Yeah. That is so cool. Ah, that what is does so say? cool. You just look like a Mexican. <laughs> you look like my dad. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I try to like capture the, the shiny like oh, eyes that you it. have. Yeah, and but... then for heavy tash, right? <laughs> it, My it hair's was... never looked so good. <laughs> Why have I got wrinkles? So many wrinkles. <laughs> because that just make you, you're already too pretty. So it made you more rugged. I mean, it was just gonna look like a girl with a beard. <laughs> well, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed. You can keep that. Uh, you know, I said, love you, sorry, Sam, is a. And it was made with love. It looks like you have receding hairline. I do. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you, uh, you have a really short arm. I know, but I am punching, so it's great. And Katie's pretty cool. You killed it. Thank you. Well done.